Lately, a new Blender add-on called Jiggler Maker has been released, and it is useful for natural believable jiggle physics simulations without having to juggle a bunch of fiddly modifiers. So if you've ever tried to manually add secondary motion in Blender, you know the struggle. Duplicating meshes, setting up cloth sims, pinning vertex groups, adding surface deform modifiers, baking, etc. Add one tiny mistake and you will send your mesh exploding at any moment. But this add-on promises to solve this. But how does it do that? And is it really that good? The add-on essentially wraps Blender cloth simulation and the four modifiers into a super simple process and using the add-on boils down to three main steps. First, decide how you want to create the jiggle. You can drop in a preset jiggle mesh from the add-on's library, which is a ready-made proxy for common body parts, or use an existing vertex group on your model, or even supply your own custom proxy object. And this defines the area and shape of the jiggle in selection. Next, you have to select your main mesh, I mean the character's body part that will jiggle and the jiggle mesh, and choose a physics preset, for example, jiggly for lots of bounces or firm for a tighter wobble, then hit the bind button. The add-on will automatically do the heavy lifting. It sets up a cloth simulator on the jiggle mesh, links it to the main mesh with a surface deform modifier, and even mirrors the jiggle to the left or the right sides if needed. Once bound, you can find to the effect using a dedicated cloth settings panel in the UI, adjusting things like mass, stiffness, or damping to get the perfect amount of bounces. When it looks right, you will bake the simulation to lock it in. There is even a handy bake manager included, so you can cache or clear all the jiggle sims in one place instead of hunting through the outliner. One of the great things about Jiggle Maker is a set of built-in tools and presets that will come with it which you can append with one click. So instead of modeling a jiggle object from scratch, you can choose a preset from the add-ons menu, position it where you need the jiggle, and you are halfway there. The add-on also provides ready-made physics presets, named jiggly, firm, thighs, inflated, etc. as starting points for different jiggle behaviors. You can pick the one that suits your needs and see instant results, or tweak the values and even save your own custom presets for later. As you can see, all the important settings are presented in a user-friendly panel, so we don't have to dig through Blender's default physics tabs, because the add-on highlights just the controls that matter the most, like the quality steps, time scale, mass, damping, and so on. And it does all that in one convenient place. On top of that, there is a cloth bake admin tool that finds every jiggle-related cloth sim in your scene and lets you manage them in bulk. With this panel, you can quickly enable and disable all the jiggle simulations, free all their caches, or bake a specific frame range across multiple jiggling parts all at once. It is actually a huge time saver, especially if you're having a complex character or many animated pieces with jiggle effects. And from what I have seen so far, in practice, the animal shines in any animation that needs a bit of secondary or playful bounce. Character animators will love this because how easy it becomes to add realistic overlap and follow through to movements. Like, imagine a character's cheeks or belly subtly jiggling when they take a step, or a creature's tail or ears having a nice springy wobble as it moves. Even when it comes to stylized characters, they can benefit a lot from this. You can dial up the inflated or jiggly settings to get some squash and stretch style exaggeration. And because it is using Blender's native physics under the hood, the results interact naturally with the rest of the scene's physics and gravity, which is far less setup work on your part, which is always a great news. So if you're interested in this add-on, you will find all the necessary links in the description. And there you have it guys. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Also, please subscribe to the channel to receive more videos like this. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.